other day, uh, well, it worked the other day, it was uh, yesterday. I'm on nights, folks, and um, I lose track of time. So, Monday night, I did a 12 hour night shift, and I was coming home on Tuesday morning at about 10 past seven, and I thought, oh, I'm hungry, what, what do I want to eat? And anyway, for some reason, I just fancied a massive bowl of Kellogg's cornflakes. Now, there's some things I say where you shouldn't change. It's got to be that brand. Heinz Baked Beans or Branston's, uh, uh, Bird's Eye fr uh, Frozen Peas, and Kellogg's cornflakes. So I um, stopped off at the shop to get a few bits, and I picked up a box of Kellogg's cornflakes. Because, you know, what I do is cover them in milk and sugar, and they're brilliant. And I could have two or three bowls of these, you know, not like a cereal bowl, like you get in your, your pudding bowl. I get one of the big glass ones and fill it. Well, anyway, I was about the third spoonful down, and I thought, these don't taste right. These, these aren't Kellogg's cornflakes as such, it says it on the packet, but no. So I did a bit of research on the internet and it turns out they've taken 25% of the salt out and they taste bloody awful. Now, I can understand this isn't Kellogg's fault because they've had to bow down to pressure because MPs, think that we need to be looked after and stuff like that and it's not on we've we've not made it to 2018 and an ever-growing population through not eating cornflakes with salt in them it's absolutely unbelievable that this should be allowed to happen granted Right, I'm not completely stupid. I know I may come across as an idiot and stupid, but I'm not, in theory. But to take 25% of the salt out of this, you've just ruined it. It's, you're not eating anything. It tastes, there is no taste. There is no taste. You're just eating a piece of corn that's been squashed. It's, it doesn't give the right texture, the milk and the sugar. I mean, I put a load of sugar on. It just don't taste any good. It's absolutely pathetic. And I'm fed up with this bloody state, nanny state, taking over, telling us what we do, can eat and what we can't eat. And then you've got Sadiq Khan telling people, telling McDonald's and fast food restaurants to take the bloody advertising down because some kid might want, to, want a burger. Well, it ain't on. It, the responsibility is the parent to say, no, you're not having a burger. No, you're not having Kellogg's cornflakes today, which is a little bit too much salt in. You can have something more alpha. Just give us the responsibility to look after ourselves. Don't get me wrong. I know I'm fat. I know I'm a big lad. But truth, it's my life and I'll live it how I want. I'll get to work. I pay my taxes and everything like that. I don't do drugs. I know I do a lot of uh, alcoholic reviews, but I don't drink a lot. My job's quite manual, quite physical. I do, so I do the exercise. Granted, my knees are shot. I can't go running and cycling miles, but I do healthy work and stuff. I handball bloody eight ton the other night. Did anybody else handball eight ton in 25 kilo bags? No. So, to the government, stop messing around with our food. Let people eat what they want to eat, drink and smoke. They're about putting tax on vape now, vaping oils. What the bloody hell is that all about? You're doing the vaping oil to cut down on the smoking. And now they've got a on about putting that up. Unbelievable. So, folks, if you've not tried these now with the salt taken out, and I do apologise for this, Kellogg's, don't bother, because you may as well be just eating cut-up bits of beer mat. Unbelievable.
Laides.